Aloha, Rich Halverson here. This is uh, ICS211. And in this video, I'm going to try to get you through uh, lab uh, 20.7, the playlist, uh, the enhanced the enhanced version of it. So let me share my screen. And uh, on the right here, we have the uh, assignment in Lamaku. We're supposed to do lab 20.7. It's the playlist program. On the in Visual Studio Code, and then we're going to add an E function, which is to uh, which will exchange the position of two songs. Okay, so uh, it's similar to the change change position of the song function, which you'll see, and then you do all the rest of the stuff. Okay, so on so on the left here, uh, I have my my program, and um, the 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 um the uh, requirements for the program, I'm going to create two files. Uh, one is going to be called song entry Java, which is the class dec declaration of this, uh, of uh, what's uh, how, how we're going to store a, a song. And then a playlist, which is a, a list of songs. And the, the song entry class is going to have the following specifications, uh, pro some private fields, um, Couple of constructors, some methods, um, and um, so it can store uh, songs like this. Okay, so here we have a song with an ID and the name of the song, and the artist, and the number of seconds that the song is. Um, and uh, <clears throat> um, so when the program runs. The main program will be in this uh, playlist.java contains the main program. Uh, it it'll ask what uh, a playlist for the title, and then it'll um, it'll display out this menu. It looks like this, and these are all all the things that it can do. Uh, and you know, so so you add a bunch of songs, and then you have, you can remove a song, you can change the position of a song, you can output all the songs by an artist. Um, by the the, the, the total time of the playlist, and then just output the whole playlist. That's this whole function, and then Q uh, quits. Uh, they want you to uh, to implement a print menu method. They want you to implement an execute method. Uh, execute menu method takes four parameters, which is the uh, this thing, and then. Um, the playlist title, the head note of the playlist, and then the scanner object that you use if you need to ask the user anything. <clears throat> and the execute menu uh, performs the menu op menu options. <clears throat> um, okay, so uh, an example is that um, after you uh, have loaded up the name of the playlist, like this, uh, and you display out the menu. The menu looks like this. Choose an option, and for example, if you choose O, uh, it'll output the list looks like this. For example, if you have these five, or if it's empty, it might look like this. <clears throat> Add song looks like this. Remove song will will remove it for you. And so, so I'm going to just get you started with the structure, and uh, I'll leave it up to you to implement. Some of these methods, I'll implement some of these methods. All right, so um, I can put this down. Let me open up Visual Studio. Let me just go right click, open in a terminal. And um, I'm going to say code. And then I'm going to uh, click on the Explorer icon up here in the upper left hand corner click on that and i'm going to click on create java project right here and i'm going to click on no build tools that's fine and then it opens up a place to put the project and i'm going to uh, go to my desktop and i've got a, a folder here called ics211 and summer 2024 so i'm going to put put my uh my fold my my project in in here look i have my shopping cart from 
let me select this project location. And then up here, I enter in the name of, of a project and I'm gonna call this one playlist. What was that playlist? And click on it. And uh, first thing, let's see, I'm gonna uh, double click. Oh no, I don't need to do that. Uh, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna uh, start. Oh, I'm gonna uh, copy over these files here. This is the templates. So I'm gonna click on this icon right here. And, and so there's gonna be a playlist.java, which is this. So let me uh, copy all of this. I'm gonna just click here and then just do a control A and then a control C. Go back over here and I'm gonna do file, new file. The name of the file, I'm gonna call it uh, playlist java enter and then it wants to know where and i'm going to put it down in the src folder right there right here playlist java create file here we go and now i'm going to paste what i copied over copied from from this is the template from the textbook and we're going to put code right in here i guess in here and here Okay, and uh, let's do the other one. So let's go back over to Zybooks and let's go to the song entry. On Oh, here it just says type code here. Well, all right, let's do that. Let's copy this. Go back over here. Uh, click file, new file. And I'm going to call it song entry dot Java. Enter. And I'm going to put it in the same place. And here I'll just paste what I had before, and it's just this type code here. All right, very good. Uh, so now I can start. <clears throat> uh, let's see. The first thing it wants me to do is to make the song entry class and have these private fields. Okay, so I'm going to have, um, well, let's just. Uh, public class song entry curly beginning curly enter and I'm going to have a private string um, um Right here, unique ID. Uh, and then I'll do a private string. Uh, song name. And. Uh, these. Artist name integer song length and song entry of next node so that's just going to be a link to another node and then uh default constructor is uh going to simply be something that looks like this Okay, so we have public song entry, and uh, basically it just initializes these five uh, private uh, variables here, properties, unique ID, and just, just initializes them all to that. Uh, they want us to put a parameterized constructor. So a parameterized constructor can look maybe something like this. Hold on here. Right. 
Um, and then a constructor here, uh, parameterized. So uh, if you know the ID and you know the song name and you know the artist name and you know the, the um, uh, song length in seconds, you can just send them all in as arguments to the method and it'll assign them directly like that. All right, what's next? We got public member methods. We have uh, insert after. Let's see. Got insert after. Set next to get ID. Let's see if this is going to work. Insert after where you have a, a node and uh, <clears throat> you're going to um, insert this node after you're going to insert this new node after you and you are a node okay you're a node and you're going to insert you after you're going to insert this node afterwards well what you have to do is you have to take this node and <clears throat> you have to make the uh, <clears throat> the um, the next node uh, the next node field or property of this new current node has got to be what your next node uh, property is because your next node property is going to be this new node. So, so that's what this exchange of, of, of links to nodes is right here. That's insert after. Uh, set next will um, just simply uh, set the next node field to a node that you pass it as a parameter. Get ID, get ID just returns the, the unique ID. We've got um, these other accessor Methods here, get ID, get get the song name, get the artist name, get the song length, and get the next field, the, the link link to the next node. And so those are all just accessors to the private fields up here. These private fields here. And then at the very end, you can um Print place sign listings. I don't know how that would work. Well, anyway, we'll get to that later. Does it say that I should print print place sign list? Print play list songs. Yeah, I think this only uh, prints for a curtain node, right? Okay, this this. This prints for the node. This is print song info is probably a better name for that. But anyway, so this just prints out the, the data, the information for this particular song. So this is the, the class for an, and each object represents one song. Okay, so that's the... Um, yeah, output looks like this. Okay, so that's what this this last thing does. Okay, so that takes care of the um, the song entry class. All right, next let's go to the main the main method over in playlist Java, which is down here. And we're going to um, prompt the user for the title title of a play of the playlist. Okay, so that's going to look something like um, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, 
Oh, let's see. Well, we're going to have something that looks like this, I guess. This looks bad. Let's see, this has got to be inside. Uh, this is a public cloud. It's got to be inside this. This is inside. All right. Yeah, okay. This is. And this is just that. Okay. So this asks, uh, enter a title. And then here we have uh, where we ask if the user types it in. We need to. Um, Declare that. So let's do that up here beforehand. Spring playlist, playlist title. Okay. Um, Uh, I wonder why that's. All right. So anyway, um, and then we're going to print out this this the menu which we have to write. And then um, we're going to, let's initialize a, a loop variable here, menu operation. Uh, I better declare it, I guess. C-H-A-R menu operation equals blank. Then while uh, menu op tab is not equal to Q, Q for quit. This is like all the other menus where we've done. While it's not equal to that, then um, <clears throat> Uh, output system out print line choose an option. Okay. And then we're going to ask we're going to ask the user for a new menu option. And then we're gonna execute this menu with passing the menu operation, the name of the of the playlist of the title, whatever the head note is. Head, it's gotta have a head note, I better fix that. I'm having, I'm sneezing. Uh, so anyway, uh, a head note, we have to declare a head note and that would be something like, it's a song entry up there at the top here, I guess. Uh, song, it's a it's type song entry. And I'm going to call it head node because it's, uh, it's a list. And that's going to initialize to null. Okay, so we have this head node. It takes care of that. And the scanner is this. Okay, so we... We pass the menu operator, uh, the name of the playlist, and the head node, um, which is going to be, uh, so presumably you're going to type in, you're going to uh, enter commands, which where, where you can add songs to the menu, and then that'll build up the, the playlist. Okay, so what's next? 
uh, implement the menu. We're going to implement the print menu, then we're going to implement the execute menu. Oh, I guess we've already kind of done that. Okay, so uh, let's implement, we're up here. Implement print menu, there There we go. It all, right, right there, it gives us a spot for some code. So we're going to want something like print menu, uh, Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to type real fast here. So the the title came in with came in as a as a uh, parameter right here. See print menu print playlist title, and then it prints that out. See judge judge up playlist menu. That says playlist menu, and then these are the choices. And we are going to add this exchange positions for the enhanced one. See, we're going to do that for the enhanced one. So if you're going to uh, run it through here, if you're going to submit for grading. I don't know if it'll work that you have this in there. You might have to take that out. But anyway. Um, all right, so. That's the menu, prints out the menu. And then we have to do, then we have to implement execute menu, which takes the four parameters and uh, executes them. All right, so, um, All right, so <clears throat> execute menu, that's right here, execute menu. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> we're going to have a bunch of initializations. Um, but I think I'll just add those initializations when we get to them. Uh, so I'm going to type some code in here, and it's going to be a. I'm going to use a switch statement. Switch. Uh, option, and that is, and then a curly. And I'm going to have a bunch of cases in here. Option is this character option that comes in, and that's going to be one of these things: A, D, C, E, S, T, or O. Okay, those are the ones we're going to act on. Everything else we're just going to let go. We're going to, so we're going to skip it. So I'm going to have a case, case, A, colon, dun, dun, break, colon, case, D, colon break colon case c colon and i'm just gonna um go like this let me just do this break Uh, and then I'm going to do, uh, this is C, C, uh, E, S, T, O, and that's it. And that's it. I have a break at the very end. I don't, I don't think it matters, but uh, anyway, I guess I do. I don't need to. All right, so uh, let's break. Okay, okay so uh, this is our switch statement, and it starts here and goes all the way here. 
And then we return the head node because that's what we're returning. We're just returning a head node. When it's called, it's called execute menu and then returns a head node and that's the new head node. If there is a new head node. Okay, so let's fix this now. C and then we have an E for exchange. That's the new one. And then an S for songs from a specific artist. Okay. T for total time. Oops, T for total time, probably. O to display out the whole output list. Okay, so um semi. All right, so um I guess uh the first two things we should probably get to work are the A, so we get add add songs in add songs in. And then the O, so we can display out the playlist. Okay, those are the two. So let's um, start with A. And A would look something like, um, this. I'm going to type real fast. Okay, so uh, first of all, we need to uh, consume they when we um, asked for the um, okay back out here when we asked for the the care the uh, the menu op operator we we just used the we just used next. Okay, and that's gonna uh, that's not next line. That's just next, and so that's just gonna read read the next character. Okay, so it's not gonna consume a a, a return, uh, and there will be a return there because the user um, uh, the user entered a return. So. Uh, we need to consume that. So that's what this first next line is. It just gets rid of the next line. And then we prompt the user for song information. So we're going to display out add song. And we're going to then we're going to ask the user to enter the song's unique ID. And we're going to do a next line. And it, it's going to um <coughs> that's going to um Grab a string, next line string, a unique ID. We need a song name. We need an artist name. We need a song length. Uh, and so, uh, how do we fix these? Well, I think with Visual Studio Code, you can just click Quick Fix, and it'll actually add the declaration up above. So I'm going to try that. Oops. Quick Fix. Quick Fix. Click. Create local variable. There, uh, there we go, right up here. String, unique ID, right where we need it. Let's do the same for this. Mm -hmm. Create local variable, artist name. Boom. And song length, which is an integer. Let's see if it's smart enough to know it's an integer. Ah, yes. Song length. <laughs> uh, new song. It's going to know that that's a song entry type. New song is a ah, song entry. New song. That's wonderful. Okay. Um, so now there's no, no under no underlining things. Uh, what's this? So current node. So okay. So so we ask everything, and then we create a new song node. Create, create a new song entry node uh, using the uh, parameterized uh, constructor. And then uh, now we're going to hook it onto the list. Well, we're going to first see if the list is empty. The first time we do this, it's going to be empty. So head node is going to be null. And then we just make head, head node equal to the, um, the, uh, the address of the, of the new song node. That's what this does. 
If the head node is not null, which means there's a there's a list there already, then we're gonna uh, uh, traverse along the list each time, you know, going until we get to the end of the list, until we tell the next, we're gonna find the the current node. We're gonna traverse down the list until the current until the current nodes next. Uh, next node field is null, which means it's the end of the list. At that point, we will, uh, for that node, we will insert this new song. So we, we have a, a underline there. Let's uh, do a quick fix on that. There it is up there. Oh, it did it. Oh, it did it here. Yes, that's okay. I think I'd rather have it. Uh, let me take that out. I'm going to just put it up here. Song entry per node. It now went well. All right, so that's what that does, and I think that'll probably work. All right, so uh, that's that's at the adding, and now let's do the outputting. Let's do this last one here, and that's going to look something like uh, O for output. Let's see, how about, it's gonna look something like this. Oh, that looks terrible. Let's see, let's just get this in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna uh, output uh, the output full playlist, number of notes, Initialize number of nodes equals one. Hmm. Oh. There, int num nodes equals one. Uh, this is going to be a node. Oops, no. Quick fix. Okay, private. Okay, current. Yeah, song entry, current print note. Okay, great. So uh, we're going to start with the current print note being the head node, and then we're going to uh, loop. If the head node is null, then the list is empty, so we're done. Otherwise, we're going to um, iterate through the list. Let's scoot this in. While uh, the current pro is not current print node is not null, uh, print the number of nodes followed by a period. Oh, I see where we're numbering these nodes. Oh, that's right. It's going to look like this. You see, numbering you're numbering the nodes. So print that and then print the uh, this playlist songs that this thing we did here. So print this. That's this for one song. Okay, that's where that comes from. And uh, and then just print another return at the end of that. Uh, go to the next one. This is this is what increments the this number here as we traverse down the list until we get to the current node is null until this this fails, which means the current node is null, which means there's nothing to print, which means we're done. Okay, so look, we've had, we've typed in O to output the list and we've typed in um, A to add to the list. Let me, uh, let's run this. Okay, so go to uh, this little arrowy thing here, uh, here, click that and click run and debug. Oh, look, no errors. 
So I'm going to type in um, Al's Playlist. Okay, look at that nice menu there. Okay, Hal's playlist. Add a song. A. Add a song. What's the song's unique ID? I'm going to say um, SD. I'm going to do these over here. Um, SD. SD123. Enter. Song's name is Peg. And the artist's name is Steely Dan. And the number of seconds is 237. Okay, let's add one more song. A, um, JJ, JJ234. Song's name is All For You. Uh, artist's name is Janet Jackson. And the song's uh, time is 900, uh, 391 seconds. Okay, now let's output the list. Oh. Ah, here it is. Oh. Output's Hal's playlist. Output the full playlist. Here's number one. And here's number two. Very good. All right. Um, let's see. Um, I'll do something really simple, like I'm going to do uh, output total time. Because just I want to do something where I traverse through the list. I actually did do something where I traverse through the list, didn't I? All right. Um, I'm going to do uh, a real hard one. I'm going to do change, change position of a song. Okay, I'll do change position of a song. Okay, so that's gonna go right here. So um, to start out, first we're, we're gonna type, okay, to change position of a song, we need, we're gonna need change position of a song. First, we ask the user for the current position of the song that we want to, we want, and then we ask the position, the new position that we want. So there's, you know, the valid new positions are one, the valid positions are one to N for the N for the number of nodes, uh, and so on. Um, and so, for example, change the position of a song, enter the song's current position, and let's say going to be three. And then you say enter the song, the new position for the song, or you say that. And then it outputs, you know, the name of the song was moved to the new position. And then you can do the output uh, function to see that the list is actually, uh, that, the, that the thing actually moved. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. And so we're, we're in C here, right? Uh, we're going to start out by asking um, the... Start by asking the name of the, we're gonna type out change position of a song. Enter the song's current position. Then we're gonna ask what the current position is and we're gonna ask for an integer. Let's fix this. No, I don't wanna fix it that way. I'm gonna take this, copy. Enter, paste, semicolon, get rid of this int. Okay, so that asks for the next, uh, for that position. And then we're going to have to ask for a new position. So that's going to look something like this. Yeah, enter new position. It's going to ask for something like this. Let me um, fix this. 
int new position. Huh, okay. New position, and then um, and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, have to find. I'm gonna traverse the list until I find what find the node that needs to be moved. So to so to, to traverse the list to find the node that needs to be moved, I'm gonna do something like this. See what this quick fix does. So I'm going to start. So, so I'm going to traverse the list, and uh, so uh, I'm going to traverse the list until I find the node that that wants to be that we want to move, and and I'm going to assign this uh, song node variable equal to that node, and so that's how I'm going to be able to keep track of it. So I'm going to start by setting song node equal to the head node, and I'm going to uh, while I'm, I'm going to keep on getting going to the next getting the next node, uh, traversing the list until um, I get to the position. Until So I'm going to count the nodes, zero, you know, one, two, three, or one, two, three, until um, while number of nodes is less than the position, the position I'm going to keep on incrementing this until I find it, until I reach the proper position. And then so song node is going to equal be equal to that particular node. Okay, so so you can trace this through in your head and convince yourself that that's that's how the uh, that this. So when this loop is done, song node is going to be uh, pointing to the song that is to be moved. Okay, now I got to see if um, if song node is null. Okay, after I'm done with all this. If song node is null, then there's something wrong. I'm not going to do anything about that. Um, otherwise, 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 uh, the first step is to remove the song from the list. Where is song position it's set? Oh, song position is the position of the song. Uh, so uh, the first thing to do is to, uh, you know, disconnect the song from the list. In other words, remove it from the list. And so the so if so if the song that we're going to move is equal to the head node, then it's just a matter of, uh, you know, um, setting the head node equal to the next node. And so that's what this will do. This will uh, set the head node equal to the next node. So now it's disconnected from the list. Um, otherwise, okay, otherwise, you need to uh, you need to traverse the list until you find, or you, you need to, um, if, if if the, uh, if the song that you're going to, that you're going to disconnect is not the head node, then you have to traverse the list, uh, until you get to the node just before the node that you want to remove. So he, this and pre previous node is going to be that. Let me see if this fixes it. Okay, I'm going to put this up here because I use prev node gets used a lot. Okay, so prev node here 
traverses the list until we reach the node that points to the song node. So this is the node, this is the node that's just before the song node. This is the one that we're gonna we're gonna remove. So prev node, uh, we um so this loops until prev node is actually this the node just before the song node. And after that, um Rev node uh, this loops until prev node uh, until prev node uh, is the node just before the song node and then we set the next node of prev node instead of it instead of next node being song node it's going to be the next node after song node so that's what this is. So this 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 sets the next node of prev node equal to the song that's after song node. So so that updates the prev node get next link. Okay, so now the uh, node that we want to remove that we want to remove song node has been removed from from um, from the list and now we need to insert we need to insert um the node into the new position okay so uh let's see step two i might as well copy these step two notes here we're going to start off by doing this mm -hmm. Uh, this ends this else. And uh, I guess, are we still? I guess we're in still, okay. I think we're still down here. Okay, so let me. Uh... Okay, so step two, uh, we've got to insert the song at the new position. So uh, first of all, if the position is uh, if the new position is less than one, or less than or equal to one, in other words, one, in other words, if it's the first position, I guess, uh, then we're going to just say that the song node uh, that the no, I got this. This is not lined up, is it? We're going to say that um, if the new position is one, in other words, it's supposed to be at the beginning of the node, then head we want head node to equal the song node. But before we do that, we want to set the next node from the song node. We want to set that next node to what the head node is uh, pointing to. Uh, so this new, the new node is, is, is going to go in just, you know, just before the current head node. All right, so that takes care of that. And then, um, this is supposed to go here. Then this just outputs, okay, it's been moved. Fine, it's been moved. Uh, this ends this else, I believe. Uh, so that's if the uh, the new that's if we're going to insert uh, if we're going to reinsert the node at the head. Otherwise, we're not going to reinsert the node at the head. Um, we're going to um, hmm. Okay, this takes care of the new position as one, and then I had a, some redundancy in my notes here. Let me just uh, 
copy this. Okay, I hope this works. Paste. Okay, so uh, otherwise we need to uh, make this, we want this to point to the, um, uh, just before where we want to insert the, where we want to reinsert the node. So we start out with where it's pointing to the head node and we loop through it. It's it's not going to be one. It's going to be at least two. It's going to be two or higher. So while, before this happens, while this is, um, the number of nodes is, is less than the new position, uh, we traverse the list until finally the number of nodes is equal to the new position. This is incremented by one. Uh, once that happens, then we are we are just before where we're going to insert the node. This this is going to be where we insert the node, and that's what that does. And so let's see if I can fix this. This is a node. Let's see what this does. Yeah, I don't want to do that again. Let me copy this. Get rid of this. Go up here like this. All right. Um, and then after that's all done, we're gonna print something out, something out that looks something like this. This is this ends that. Um Print that out. And then I guess there's going to have to be some sort of end curly and then some other end curly. Did I take care of them all? Hmm. I don't know. Ooh. Maybe not. Maybe this one shouldn't be there. Yeah, that one shouldn't be there, I guess. Oh, let me uh, unrun this. All right, let's run this and see what happens. Enter playlist. Okay, I have um, I've made a faster. I've made a playlist right here. You have typed all this in, so I can paste this in and it'll accept it all, all in order. And it's a fast way of typing in a, a five list playlist. So let me do that. Copy, enter the playlist, click down here, paste it. Are you sure you wanna paste 26 lines of text into the terminal? Yes, I will, paste. And then do the last enter. And now I have a, uh, now I'll do an O. And we have a nice playlist in there. Um, peg, and I have some different songs here. What have you done for me lately? Another song, and Nasty by Janet Jackson, Deacon Blues by Steely Dan. Okay, so, uh, and um, so, we know that add a song works and we know that output is, output works. Let's see if change a position of a song works. So let's do C, enter the first song position. Okay, let's change um, nasty. Let's take number four and let's make it number two. Okay, nasty was moved to position two. So if you recall before it was peg, what have you done for me lately? Victim, Nasty, and Deacon Blues. And we basically made it be Peg, Nasty, what have you done for me lately? Victim and Deacon Blues. That's what that's what it should be now. 
And it is Peg, Nasty, What Have You Done For Me Lately, Victim, and Deacon Blues. Yes, okay. So it looks like that works. Um, okay, so I'm gonna um I'm gonna let you test it and work on it more, and I'm gonna end this video, and then I'm gonna start another video which which where I'm gonna talk about the enhancement. Okay. So uh I'll be right back. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.